Today we are learning how to make mini pies. And before we can do this, we have to make our basic pastry dough. And I'm using a Cousinart food processor, 14 cups, and it has about 1000 watts. You can use yours or get this one here at Amazon.com. You will need two and two third cups of organic unbleached all-purpose flour, two third cup of sugar, two sticks very cold unsalted butter, one teaspoon salt, and one half cup of ice water. Also have a plate ready so you can put your dough on that when you form it into balls and a plastic bag. I added the flour, the salt and the sugar and also the unsalted butter cut into little cubes into the food processor. Put your top back on and now pulse until it turns into a crumbly mixture. Now it is crumbly and all the butter is mixed into the flour, sugar and salt. Put the top back on and use your half cup of ice water and, and while you're pulsing it, pour this into the mixture. And only Mix until it clumps together. Do not let it form into a ball. This is how it should look and now you can form two balls and then a flat disc and set it aside. Take the blade out before you take the mixture out here so you don't cut your finger. I've done that before, stuck my finger in there and cut it, it's not a good idea. These blades are very sharp. Okay, now stick your fingers in there. Press into a ball. Just break. Uh -huh. And here's the second ball. Gather up all the little pieces that are in here and stick it to it. Here are your two balls. Make them round. After shaping the dough into rounds, put them in a plastic bag and press it flat and put in the refrigerator for at least one hour before working the dough. You can leave it in longer, you can leave it in overnight or freeze it for a couple of days also. I had the dough in for a couple of hours in the refrigerator. Flour your surface here on your cutting board or wherever you would like to do this. Put a little flour on here. It actually got plenty of flour. Flour your rolling pan. And use a lot of muscles. I roll this out. flour once in a while so it doesn't stick. And keep on rolling it. It's a 
very cold, so you really have to use a lot of muscles to get this rolling here. Okay, make sure it doesn't stick. Roll it out until it's about one eighth inch thick. Make sure it doesn't stick to your board. Here we go. as much as possible at the first round. Okay. Now let's take our little cutter. You get perfect rounds. And I got about three. Of a disc set here you can also then whatever you roll up you can work into some more and cut some more here we got three here are scraps just press them together a little more flour here Into another little more disc. Flower a lot so it doesn't stick to your cutting board here. Maybe if you take the dough out and let it sit there for a few minutes and it won't be so hard to roll because when it first comes out of the refrigerator it is so cold that you really have to use a lot of muscles here we go let's put it a long way let's see if we get let's see if we get to out of this Quiet. Roll a little more here. You could really roll it out the long way instead of the round way for this dough. Oops, see, it's starting to stick. If you don't do this a lot, a lot, you're gonna have your dough sticking to the cutting board here. Here, right, put a little bit more flour. Make sure it don't stick. I want to get two out of this little thing. Okay, here's one. One. Hey. This is barely. Okay. Put this aside. You can use this later for the second round of dough. Okay, let me show you how you put those little circles in. Just put them into the well here. Press against the well down here. Here you go. There's the second one. Press down. And do this until all your little wells on two baking pans are filled. And here are your 12 mini pies, ready for the filling. 